Okay, so here's the abstract floral. I'm gonna go over the materials in here. We have our titanium white heavy texture, a leaf tip, a ruffle tip, and a star tip. Three plastic pastry bags, a spade, one inch brush, hot of yellow, Kermit green, ultramarine, pre-dome, magenta, and our white base coat. So I'm gonna pour about half of the jar of base coat onto the panel. Kind of just start spreading it all around. Making sure also we get the sides. So putting this on there kind of thick. Very kind of loose stroke here. Maybe just a little bit more base coat there. A little bit of yellow on there. Got a little bit of magenta on this side. Might as well just put a little bit of Kermit green here on the top. A little dollop of white by each of those. Just kind of blend those in. Got a little bit darker than I wanted there, but like I said, we're gonna put some more white on the end. It'll look good once the white bleeds over the color. Now we have to decide where our primary composition is gonna be. I usually don't like to go right in the center. A lot of times if I'm doing a square painting, I might. So I'm gonna just choose a quadrant. And I think we'll choose this quadrant up here in general on the upper left side instead of being in the center where our primary composition is gonna be. So we cut the titanium white heavy texture, just about three quarters of an inch on the bag there. And I'm gonna pipe, nice dollop, onto the palette. And what we're gonna do, start the foundation with some greens, because imagine it like foliage. We're gonna make a little bit of ultramarine to Kermit, which should make it a little bit darker. We're gonna be working with, you know, a few different shades of green. This green we're gonna make a little darker. And that ultramarine just kind of makes a nice deep green there. Put just a little bit more ultramarine in there. Making sure it all is nice and mixed that it's gonna stay green and not get too blue. Take a nice bit of that green there and gonna fold it into the white here. This is a good opportunity to, work, to learn how to hold and feel the knife. And so as you're folding in, try and just learn to swirl it in. Just, this is just a good time to, you know, to figure out how you're gonna hold the knife. I hold the knife like this, two fingers on the bottom and my thumb on top. It allows me a lot of flexibility to, to maneuver the knife around. Mixed a little bit more green in there. And so this part, this next part is kind of a good lesson on how to use this knife here for this specific technique of making these leaves and a lot of other particular motifs with a texture. So pretty much I have the majority of the paint off of there. And what I wanna do is just get a little coat in a paint. And I can see how I have the mound here, just a nice tight ball. You wanna keep it tight because we want it deep so when we scoop in, we can get nice big scoops. And a good practice is, is trying to just make this little hill, this smooth hill, like this. And then what you're gonna do with this is once you learn this movement, you can see I'm just kinda of troweling it over, not going in, not pushing it. It's just trying to learn to just smooth it over just like this. And then once you kind of master that feel, and just keep practicing before you put more green in there. This final layer of green, we want to pull this out on the knife. This is where you're going to see why it's good that it's deep. I'm going to scoop it in and pull it out. And you see here, I have this really nice dollop. And the goal is, I'm gonna make like a leaf pattern on here. 
So I'm gonna probably do this like four or five times on there. And so right here, what I'm gonna do now, this, this is gonna be the bottom. And I'm gonna just find, I'm gonna do it in this upper left quadrant. And I'm gonna just push it down. And so like, that's just the weight of it sitting there like that. I'm gonna push it down and pull it back. That's one way to do it. And since I said it's abstract, I gotta have another one here. And this one here, I might just swoop, swoop it out like this. And that's good like that. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then if you imagine just like a, a abstract bouquet here in the, in the, uh, the green is gonna be a lot of the underpainting. And this one here, I'm just gonna scrape straight down. I'm kind of doing this arbitrarily, but by doing this, I'm also kind of creating the main composition. So everything is gonna stay contained within the green. Push my green over the side over here. Cause we're gonna start mixing other colors. Cleaning off my knife. So I got all the green off and I'm gonna make kind of a, a warm red rosy color. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the magenta, a little bit of that white base coat down there just for like a mixing color, or you can use the texture. I'm gonna put a little hints of yellow down here. So it's very vibrant pink magenta there, but this yellow is gonna warm it up. Nice warm pink. Still pretty vibrant, but we're gonna add some more white. Tone it down a little bit. Kind of an orangey pink there. I think that's looking pretty good. So we're gonna leave that there. A lot of these flowers, each one, I'm gonna do at least three larger flowers. So I'm just gonna pick some random areas to put them in. And these are kind of some of the bigger ones. And so I'm gonna choose maybe this spot, maybe this spot, and maybe this spot. And this is kind of the cool thing about working with these, our texture bags is you can pipe the paint right on here. And so this is kind of an abstract squirrel. It's gonna make this nice little dollop right here, right here and right here. And then I'm gonna take this nice rosy warm color. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna smear this down and make a spiral. The key to getting this is to try and get it in one to two strokes. So I'm gonna go like, I'm in, it's okay to practice where the movement is gonna be. So it's gonna be like this. I've got a good amount of the color we just mixed and I'm gonna swirl it around. That's perfect actually, I like that one. Sometimes you don't know how they're gonna come out and that one came out pretty good. So I'm gonna do it with all three of them. Now I'm gonna do this one next. I'm kind of using the heel of the knife to get a nice spread and then by the time I'm finished, I'm swirling out on the top. So that one got a little smaller, but that's okay. I have some paint on here and I'm gonna just swirl it around there. But this one right here, I'm gonna do the same thing. Got a little wonky there, but that's okay. I'm just gonna squirt a little bit more in the center there so I can get a nice plump flower. That's good. So I'm pretty happy with that now. I'm just using the paper towel. Sometimes I dip it in there and just to clean off, you can use a rag or whatever you need to clean off your palette knife. The next one we're gonna do, this ruffle tip here, and it has this nice kind of half circle shape. And this one makes kind of a cool flower. Go ahead and pop it in the bag and the key here all these bags always have a seam on each side. And a lot of the tips, whether if it's this leaf or this one, I try to make sure that the ends are, are in line with the seams. I have the rounded side on one side and the concave side on the other. I like to get the tip in there and see how tight it is. I know I need to cut right there. I don't wanna to cut too far. So I wanna cut as close as I can to where the tip is. I pushed it back a little and so it pushes out. I don't, if you cut too far, then it'll pop all the way out. But I think we're pretty good there right now. It's actually just a perfect fit right there. So, so that's like, like that. It's not gonna be this wide, but 
Here we go. Add like a little bit more right here. Do a smaller one. Like so this there. is kind of an abstract here. It's gonna make this nice little dumb one right here. 